when I came in, he was hunkered down underneath this bench here, and he was going to town. Everybody. Could you figure out how many days 13,140 hours is? Well, so there's 24, there's 24 hours in a day, right? So you know there's 40 hours in a work week, which is a third of your work week, right? So what? you go around the corner to a ride that you've been waiting fucking months to ride. Yeah. And there's a fucking bear. Well, joke's on them. It was just Baloo. Who? Baloo. Baloo? Baloo. Is that who it was? Yeah. Do you know who Baloo is? Yeah. Jungle Boy. No. You? I don't. <laughs> what? You don't know who fucking Baloo is? Are mediocre. <laughs> hey, what is up there, people of the internet? What's <laughs> up, all you good looking mm-hmm. cats and kittens? <laughs> oh, you cool cats and kittens. What up, hey guys. hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, guys, welcome back, welcome back. You are joining in the K Love You Bye, and we fucking appreciate it. Yeah, we do. Uh, tonight we got me, Brandon, and Jeremy all here for your fucking pleasure. Do a cycle there, Jeremy. Do a what? You're fucking hit it. Get everybody's face in the mix. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Are you drunk we already? We didn't discuss what a cycle meant. No. <laughs> hey. Kind of like a safe word. We were just talking about it. If, if I just <laughs> said cycle, you know what to do. Uh, well, you do, he does now. Now he does. Yeah. Welcome back to Caleb. You bye. Uh, tonight. Tonight. Tonight I was gonna wear a sweatshirt <laughs> and look like Adam Sandler, but uh, apparently yeah. it's a little hot. Yeah, you put that on and you like. You had the hoodie up and everything. And I was like, I was wondering. I was, did you watch like, when I, some YouTuber or something? Like, man, that guy looks cool. I'm totally no. gonna fucking go to Kohl's and buy a hoodie just like that. <laughs> no, like when that. I first put it on, I was like, God, this feels nice. And then now I'm sitting here with a t-shirt, going, "Fuck, I'm hot." Yeah, it's <laughs> it's not cool. Fuck uh, no. I, we could probably open the doors, but flies, flies. Yeah, little fuckers. Just so you guys know, we spent extra time tonight killing flies. I bet you we killed what. Easily two, three hundred. I mean, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you should have seen how many were in here when I fucking started. Maybe that whole window, all flies. Really, dude. The the first go when I when I turned the shop back on, the first go in the window, I bet you I got a hundred. Can you confirm that? How many were in here when, when you walked in? When I came in, he was hunkered down underneath this bench here, and <laughs> he was going to town. I mean, he probably didn't on get the a flies couple, or himself. On the fl- well. He, yeah, had a, he had the vacuum, vacuum and yeah, I mean, oh, okay. <laughs> the vacuum was out. The lights were off. <laughs> he, when, I, when I opened the door, he's like, oh, I was just trying to herd them towards the light of the window. <laughs> I, know, I, I walked in the door as far as the fucking lights were off. And all I hear is shut the door. Shut the door. <laughs> I told you not to bother me while I'm cleaning my room. <laughs> no, I, and dude, and I had been in here for probably fucking 10 minutes before you got here. And, I, and how many were in here when you got here? A lot. Yeah, Good. I probably killed like 50 with the fly swatter. Yeah, and I had been at it for like fucking easily 10, 15 minutes before Jeremy got there. Huh. Well. Yeah, which pisses me off that my new fucking fly catcher 5,000 Did- only had one fly in it and like four fucking. You should have went months. with just the original thought and got yourself a bug zapper. Fair, fair point. Okay, so. First topic I want to talk to you guys about tonight. Hold on. Before we continue. Uh, okay. We talked about, I think it was last week or the week prior, the episode prior, we heard the sirens going on the, the interstate. Oh. <laughs> and we found out yes. what that was the next day, which was- uh, Very officer, sad. Yeah, very sad. Very officer sad. Kevin Cram of Algona, Iowa, was shot and killed when he was serving a, uh, what was it? An arrest, arrest warrant. warrant. For- uh, this piece of shit dirt bag. And, and to, to yeah, make they were it even, misdemeanor. To make like it, yeah. a misdemeanor warrant. To it make was, it even worse, they were it, misdemeanor. It was a harassment, a arrest yeah. warrant for harassment, which would have been what? Some some amount of days in jail, and now that dude's doing very prison. Very little. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's... 
we're sitting here doing a podcast and hear fucking sirens going off, right? Yep. And, you know, we make light of, oh, we'll figure out what was going on later. And uh, it turns out to be a terrible fucking thing. So yeah. someone lost their life for for really no reason. Yeah. For, it really I was. I mean, yeah. it was. So, our, yeah, our hearts go out to uh, Kevin so, Graham's family. Family, the whole community the of community, Algona. You know, family, friends, um, police department. You know, I know you guys have heard us talk a lot about uh, – Sarah and the men's grooming lounge and, mm-hmm. and she's uh she's a part of that Algona community and and she was actually um she was giving she, out free haircuts and then I'm not sure who it was was giving out like meats and cheeses and stuff for yep uh police department and uh yep yeah. they did a uh they did an interview with her I think yesterday or on today the news, on yeah. the news yep. uh, for doing that so shout out to men's grooming lounge for um giving back to the community in a time of need like that and uh hearts Go out to those guys, thoughts and prayers, and you yep. know, Absolutely. stay stay safe out there. You know, people are people are ridiculous and crazy and wild, and and dude, they shouldn't be trusted. Not a nary one of them, <laughs> right? Seriously. Uh, yeah. So we just we wanted to tell you guys what that was. We circled back on it. We found out the next day what uh, was kind of happening, and yeah. So, so yeah. Let's, Moving on here. Get a little lighter now, yeah. A little lighter. Uh, have you ever played the game Candy Crush? Uh, I, kind of. I've tried it. It's not my thing. Candy Crush. Have you ever played Candy Crush, Jeremy? No. I I mean, I know what it is. Never really played it, though. Okay. So you know the concept, right? Like you do the candy thing, and then you beat the level, and then you move on to the next level. It's like Tetris. Candy Crush happens to be like my wife's like... Addiction. Autism thing. Her autism thing. Like the one thing that she's just really <laughs> extra specially good at. Uh-huh. Right? She used to play this thing when we first got together. Right? She's had a candy crush on her phone since we have literally started dating, which is... It's been a thing for quite a long time. 12 plus years. Yeah. I asked her about a week ago. I'm like, you're still playing that fucking game? She goes, yeah, it's my thing. It's how I relax. And I'm like, okay. I go, what level are you on? 30? 4,200. Oh, my God. 4,200. How many levels are there? Does it just keep going? I don't think there's an end to it. I think you just keep going. That's kind of ridiculous. I remember when I remember playing that thing in the desert and getting to like level fifteen, being like, "God, the fuck, this game's fucking hard as shit." <laughs> She's <laughs> forty two hundred. Dude, I, I mean, I can't even fathom like the 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 difference. To, like, how do you build a game that has that many levels and well, how like that many different? I'm sure there's some sort of fucking because it's like every five or ten levels they like add some like new. Like new candy that does a new feature. How do you go to forty two hundred adding like connect three of these and they blow up the whole fucking deal? You yeah, know what I mean, I'm sure they have all kinds of different candies or whatever. And then what they probably do is they'll have like a, like a programming that will will throw this in and then this and then the next level will be like just randomly choose a couple other things and it'll probably just throws in Dude. a bunch of random shit and just the levels just keep going and going and going, but. I, pr- I I promise you, if I played Candy Crush on her phone right yeah. now, I guarantee you, You'd I, be like, <laughs> 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 I couldn't believe that. I'm like forty. Like I thought she was gonna be like level 150, yeah. 4200. I'm like, how do you, how do you have the fucking patience to play 4200 levels of Candy Crush over 12 fucking years? But our kids are home for 13 seconds, and you want to fucking beat them both. (laughs) How many hours do you think that is? Like, how many hours do you think she spent on that? That's what I'm wondering. I wonder if it has, like, sometimes those games and shit will have, uh, like, a metric that will show, like, how many hours and stuff you spent on them. Oh, dude. Okay, very, let's, very, let's that's gotta be so twelve I mean let's, twelve years probably let's take every a guess. Day. Let's take a guess. Well, I'll take a guess and then I'll steal her phone while she's sleeping and see if I can find out. You said forty two hundred levels, right? Forty two hundred Wait, levels. why do you gotta steal her phone? Why don't you just say, Hey, let me ch- you wanna get in there for other reasons? 
Like, no, I no. I but don't. like, wake up, she'll open her phone and be like a dick pic on there or something. Well, that would be too. It actually probably be a butthole. Set, and they know set, you. Colby, be here. Colby sitting on the edge of the bed like that that black guy. <laughs> yeah, that you would get the link sent yeah, to yeah. you and you picked up and he just. But it's just Big, like it's my, it's oh. just, it's my <laughs> Photoshop my face on his head on his body. Yeah. <laughs> Save it as her background. <laughs> no, it it'd be a lot weirder than that. He'd set a timer on his phone. He'd lay on the bed, he'd throw his legs back, grab his butt cheeks, spread yeah. them, and it would just be pure butthole. <laughs> you know, I'm a little self-conscious about my butthole. Well, that doesn't the, mean you won't do it. That's the only part of my body that I'm I'm a little like, nobody needs to see that. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I, dude, I would run naked down the fucking streets of any fucking town you asked me to do it. I wouldn't give two shits about it, even if they were lined with people. But ask me to show my butthole to that many people. I was like, oh, well, come so on you, now. So you don't, sun, a, you don't sun your butthole? Like, you little, live out here. Bro, you live out here. No, nobody's around. You don't, like, in the backyard. Now, <laughs> <parent-y him. laughs> now, listen, I, I live in the middle of nowhere. There ain't people in the backyard of my house. I sun my butthole every fucking morning. I spend 15 <laughs> minutes. In the morning, sun in my butthole. They're just not people around to see it. Yeah. Because the sun in your butthole is good for your health. We went over that many, many, many moons ago. Anyway, yeah, we did. Yeah, it was one of the first ones. Perineum sunning. That's Perineum. what it's called. You, you know that? Yeah. I Perineum that. sunning. We talked it's, about I that. Couldn't, I couldn't think of it when I was saying it, but yeah. Dude, like, did you know? Now that you say it, I know what it did is. Did you know, too, that like one of the best fucking health tips for any fucking person in the world? If you spend 10 to 15 minutes every morning, not looking at the sun, but like when the sun rises in the morning, right? Turn in the direction of the sun and you look in the direction of the sun, not at the sun, but like so that the sun is like hitting your face and the UV rays of the sun getting into your eyes in the morning time causes like a fucking... Yeah, a thing in your brain, it helps you be more alert, more active. It helps you get on a better sleep cycle. It helps you your metabolism fucking kick in and get going. That's why they say it, like the first thing you need to do in the morning is like don't get in your phone on that shit. Just get go up, outside and go look at get the sunrise. Up, and get shit. outside and watch the sunrise. It's yeah. like the best fucking thing you can do for your health and your well being ever. I would be so healthy if I could. Do that in the morning. If I could get up and get outside when the sun is actually coming up, coming up yeah. but it's pitch dark when I go to work. So yeah, yeah. imagine if you got to, healthy. Imagine, <laughs> yeah. and, but see, they say you're not supposed to look at the sun, the sunlight, like through a window or through like sunglasses. It's it's got to be like outside. The sun, the light is coming into your eyes. You're looking into the the sunrise, kind of. So I was like, you know, what if you drove? What if you drove into the fucking sunrise every morning for work? But, You'd be looking through the glass. Well, you're looking through the glass. It doesn't help you. Thirteen thousand one hundred and forty. What's that? That's my guess. <laughs> Thirteen thousand one hundred and forty. Did many? you just pull your calculator out? Okay, and, and I did, do some math. Did some math. Okay, so how many? Okay, thirteen thousand one hundred and forty. How many days is that? How many days is thirteen thousand one hundred forty hours? Right. Yeah, thirteen we're thousand. We're talking hours. Thir- yeah, thirteen thousand one hundred forty hours. How? Hold on, hold on. How would you figure that out? What math equation would you use to figure that out? To figure out how to many days that, that is. Yeah, Colby. Well, if I was gonna do like the fucking, if I was gonna do my math or like regular math, just everybody. How math. would you figure <laughs> out how many days thirteen thousand one hundred forty hours is? Well, so there's twenty four. There's twenty four hours in a day, right? So you know there's 40 hours in a work week, which is a third of your work week, right? So <laughs> what? What? What are you calling? Or it's a, you're complicating this way too much. <laughs> there's 40 hours in a work week, but if you're, you know, yeah. <laughs> no, finish, finish. So, yeah, you're ahead. on the right track. So there's 40 hours in a work week. That's five days, not seven. It's five. Okay, so you go 40, right? That's a third of your day you spend working. So you go 40 times three, that's 120 hours you have Monday through Friday. 
So then you add another 48 to that. So you're at 168 hours per week times 52. <laughs> you're just throwing numbers. I know. Do the math. What is, so what's your answer? Okay, so you have 168 hours of time every week times 50. So that puts you at like like 700 and something hours. Days? No, it puts you at like 700 and something hours. Or no. So for a month, you'd be at like 600 and something hours a, a month total times 12. <laughs> what? Hold on a second. Wait, how many how many hours did you say? Uh, 13,140. 13,140. Divide by 12. 12. No, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and just divide it by 24 yeah. because that's, that's how many hours are in a day and that's going to give you 547.5 days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if I would have had a calculator, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> but the, you're think, like throwing in 52s and hut huts and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think your equation was a little bit off. Yeah. How many hours are in a month? It depends on the month. We'll go off a generic 30-day month. 24 times 30. 720. So I was pretty... I said 700... 700 something hours a month. Yeah, you're like... And then times you, 12. Uh, that gives you how many are in a year. And then I was going to use that number to figure out how long I thought she spent fucking... On yeah, but the question was... Because you you even asked. It was you that asked. You said 13,140. 13, how many days is that? And then mm. you went into this whole spiel mm. about fucking 40 hours per week times okay. to okay. the third power. Yeah, I was trying to figure. I was trying to come up. <laughs> I was trying to. Okay, I see, I see where we got miscommunicated. It, yeah, that's where we miscommunicated. I was trying <laughs> like, to come up with the number of like how many days she spent fucking on candy crush mm. that's what i was trying to figure out nah. it's all right don't yeah. get decouraged i'm de <laughs> i'm not i'm not decouraged about it <laughs> so anyway i guess my guess is 547 and a half days or 13,140 hours so like a year and a half i'd be right around there what is your guess? How many hours? Just throw some hours. <laughs> I bet she spent probably 645 hours. 645 hours? I bet she did that in the first month. No, not month, but first couple or, months. Or no, no, that's... We're going days. No, we're going hours. Hours. So 13,140 yeah, is I 500 said. how many days? 47 and a half. Okay, so I'm going like 18,000 hours. Okay. One dollar, Bob. <laughs> I'm probably going to go with 12,180. 12,180. 12, 12, yeah, I have no reasoning behind that number, but. Okay. Hey, we might be out. able to solve this right now. I'm going to text her. I'm going to text Jane and be like, hey, do you know how, does Candy Crush tell you how long you've spent playing? How many hours you've spent on it? Yeah, I'm going to text her right now. Speaking of looking up like your bad habits, have you ever. I know I like to gamble on like DraftKings. I know Colby, you do. Do you, Brandon? Yeah, but I'm I'm like uh, I'm modest with it. I'll throw in like a couple bucks here and there, and then if nothing's hitting or anything, I'm like eh, I don't have to gamble. Yeah. So my coworker showed me a while back when I was at my last job that you can look in and look at your history. Yes. Of how many bets you or the amount of money you've put in and what you've got yeah. back. Don't fucking look at it. I know. <laughs> Uh, it is so bad. We actually, we talked about gambling on something uh, like a, a while ago on the podcast <laughs> and somebody actually commented and told us that, that you can actually go in there and look at like what you've yeah. bet and what you've won and lost and all that shit. Hold on. Because I got, I, I usually use FanDuel. So I use both DraftKings, FanDuel. So is it under like transaction history? Oh, this should be good. Is, is that where you go? I don't know. I've never yeah. actually done it. Yeah. Um, I can't tell you exactly how to get there, but it's somewhere in that. Mm -hmm. And then it'll show you your all time. I don't, 
I need to find out how to fucking do it here because I can tell you right now, I lost 50 bucks just this last weekend. <laughs> I bet. I made a bet on the last night's game, the Dolphins versus Patriots, mm-hmm. put $200, and I was just going to bet uh, Dolphins minus three. <laughs> And but then uh, they like tempted Wait, the me. The Dolphins into, were favored by three. Career. Yeah, yeah. And then they they tempted me into a uh, the parlay. A, a parlay. Yeah. And it was Tyree Kill, um, hundred yards or more, or over a hundred yards. So okay. I was like, that's probably a pretty solid bet. Oh yeah. I bet that, and it was two hundred dollars to win eleven hundred dollars, and. Tyreek Hill, the Dolphins won by what, seven, 10, seven or whatever. Oh, I don't know. I didn't and even see it. They won by yeah. seven to 10. You know, they, they covered the spread and Tyreek Hill gets fucking 40 yards after he just went off for like 200 and something yeah. yards the week before. 40 yards is all he yeah. got. They know. See, usually if it would have been me, so I would have put that bet and he would have gotten 99 or he would have went and got like 101 or some shit and then he would have lost three or, dude know. that happened to me on fucking thursday night the vikings game mm. i bet justin jefferson over 100 yards and jordan addison 75 over 75 yards justin jefferson smoked that like he got 159 or whatever jordan addison got 72 oh he yep. was short three fucking yards that yep. sucks. and that would have paid me like 425 bucks i have when, so. when i'm doing bets i have one rule that i i always live by is it's i never like uh bet on the broncos at all like their games i don't use i try not to use their players for if i do like the where you make the team uh bets whatever but yeah that's like my rules i never because you got too much invested in it you know what i mean like you're mentally or yeah, emotionally or whatever. I try not to do like the winner loser like if the Vikings or the Hawkeyes are playing. Yeah. I try not to just like pick parlays. that. I just do like par- like player parlays right. or like Kirk Cousins over 350 yards or whatever. Yeah. You want to hear my career stats on FanDuel? Kind of. Yeah. So, I joined in January 9th of 2021. He had to run and get a beer before he could sell us. <laughs> <it. You know, laughs> nice. Since since then, uh I have made sixteen hundred eighty-seven dollars and twenty-three cents worth of bets. Sixteen, okay. All right, that's, that's. I've won five hundred and twelve. <laughs> <laughs> My net total is negative eleven hundred and seventy-five. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel? Uh, really shitty because I pretty much only bet like ten dollars a crack. So that's yeah. a lot of fucking bets. <laughs> fucking been terrible jeremy's over there like those are rookie numbers dude like i bet ten thousand jeremy like hey you might not you might not want to say this live because it's going to be out there for everybody to hear for forever jeremy's like oh shit. well that's all right it doesn't affect anybody else but me 25 25 dollars no, I, I know it's not that because i've never even made that in my life so <laughs> hey i just want you to remember right if kylie watches this She's going to think about the money you've spent of, on your uh, betting and things that you've said no to purchasing. So just be ready. If you put it out there, it's out there. It's all right. I don't. <laughs> she could have bought. No, so, this isn't that bad. She could have bought so many flowers. This is not. Much money. This is not that bad. My net total. Yep. Is negative seven hundred and twenty five dollars. Oh, on this is on FanDuel though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For my what's your primary my betting bets, app? My MGM. bets are eight thousand eight hundred and thirty dollars and ninety one cents, and my winnings are eight thousand one hundred and five dollars and fifty one cents. That's basically breaking even. Yeah, I mean down seven hundred out of. Eight thousand, eight, eight, almost yeah. nine thousand dollars in bets. Like, yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'm down eleven hundred out of playing sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, I think we already knew going into this that you lost more than you won. So, dude, I will say this though: I bet, I bet on uh, the Kentucky Derby one year. Couple, it was a couple years ago, and I think I put like fifty bucks on a horse that was like fifty to one odds. He was like entered into the race last or whatever. And the fucking horse won. I won like eight hundred bucks on like a fifty dollar bet, hmm. or no, it was like I think it was like a ten dollar bet or some bullshit like that. Yeah, the odds would have been really big. Yeah, yeah, it was like it was like a ten dollar bet, and he was like, 
He was like 50 something to one, and he ended up winning. It was that uh, lucky strike. The one that was like coming to the race like the day before because another horse died. Yeah, that, yeah, that just happened like two years ago or yeah, something like that. Two, yeah, Last two year, years two ago. Two years ago or yeah. whatever. We should make a trip down to Des Moines to Prairie Meadows and go Watch to the horse track there. Dude, I would, dude, at that I would definitely so wear a big fun. fucking hat. I've never done horse betting or races or any of that shit. I've done it once and I lost all my money, but I lost like a hundred bucks. Not all my money. Horse but, betting yeah. is fun. Horse betting is fun because it's one of those like you really don't know. Unless you are like a fucking horse person and that is what you follow. Horse betting is fun because it's like there's there's like twelve or eighteen of them. And you just kinda you pick a couple that have decent odds. You pick a couple that have sh- really fucking good odds, of like you know, fifty to one or whatever. Yeah. And you hope to God that the one, the one that's got fifty to one odds, fucking hits. Well, and you go to those, and they have like some of them, some of the weekends they have like ostrich racing and <laughs> shit like like oh, llamas yeah. and shit like that. So that's fucking, when it gets really fun. That the, would be the, fun. Honestly, the greyhounds. Yeah. I want to go to a greyhound race because those fucking dogs are fast. Mm-hmm. They they run that little rabbit and like some of them dogs are fast <laughs> enough to catch the fucking rabbit going around the track. Yeah, that'd be fun. Go bet on fucking dogs. Oh we yeah, should, we should do that. Okay, let me buy a trip. Okay, we write it off for taxes. Yeah, we yeah. <laughs> we use it as a monthly meeting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So the other thing I was gonna bring up to you guys tonight because. I thought it was fucking amazing. You might have to look up the details on it because all I saw was like a short fucking little snippet about it. But Magic Kingdom at Disney Disneyland got shut down today. Oh, yeah? It was today or yesterday. It got shut down because there was a fucking bear on the loose in the park. Yeah. Did you find it? Bear spotted at Disney World prompts closure of parts of parts of Magic Kingdom. Yeah. The fucking bear run. Imagine being like spending all that money to go down there to Disney World. You got your kids, you're fucking walking around Disney World. And you go around the corner to the ride that you've been waiting fucking months to ride. Yeah. And there's a fucking bear. Well, jokes on them. It was just Baloo. Who? Baloo. Baloo? Baloo. Is that who it was? Yeah. Do you know who Baloo is? Yeah. Jungle Book. No. You I don't. What? <laughs> You don't know who fucking Baloo is? No, Tail- what's he from? Tailspin. Jungle Book. Jungle Book. It's a, a bear. Bear necessities. Oh, right. Well, you got to sing the song. <laughs> <laughs> what, well, you don't know Tailspin either? No people trick Smogly. Tailspin? Where no. he's like a pilot. He's got the, the sea duck, I think is what it's called. The yellow plane. And he flies cargo and shit. And he's got the little squirrel dude. I don't even know what he was. Maybe he's like a little baby bear. Or something. That was from... Uh, what was that fucking show? Tailspin. Tail, but what? Uh, that was like, it was like with a bunch of different fucking characters all in one fucking show, right? Well, I don't I, think I watched. It was Tailspin. like the. It was like with a lot of the Jungle Book. It was him, like Disney characters, and then there was uh, Shao Kahn. He was like a banker uh, mogul, or whatever. Not Disney character. It was just like the Jungle Book ones, and they had the orangutan. I can't think of his name. The big, the big fucking orangutan. I can't remember. Yeah. There was Mowgli. There was uh, is it Shere, not Shao Khan? That's from the, fucking Mortal Kombat. Uh, Shere Khan. Shere Khan. He was that was the tiger, right? The tiger. The tiger. Yeah. What was the fucking panther's name? Bagheera. Bagheera. Mm-hmm. And then the snake. I'm a snake. I'm a snake. I'm a snake. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly where my mind went to. I'm a right snake. <laughs> <laughs> dude like we have safety deals that go on and like we we do safety meetings every monday morning and they're always talking about like be careful for the solar guys getting snake by like snakes are out there blah blah, blah. every time they say snake i'm like i'm a snack <laughs> they're probably like god damn it jeremy shut, <laughs> shut up. the fuck up <laughs> enough with the snake shit <laughs> ka his name was ka, ka. yeah ka. ka the snake yeah 
Fucking Jungle Book, man. That's a yeah. That's a good you, one. Did you watch? You have to the, watch yourself some Tailspin one of these days too. That was good. Spot. Did you watch the new one, like the, the movie, the animated one, or not like the old animated, but like the, the live new, like, action, the live action one? Yeah, I've seen, uh, yeah, I watched that one. That was a pretty good fucking movie. Yeah, it was good. I mean, it's Jungle Book still. It's oh, but yeah. it's it's the same with like the Lion King. My kids fucking didn't watch the cartoon one like we watched as kids. Yeah, they wanted to watch the fucking new one that was like. Live action looked real. Yeah. Daddy's know, graphics man. are awful. Dude, I the old original Jungle Book, I remember watching that fucker for hours. Yeah. Like, we'd play it on repeat, and it was, like, just as good the first time we watched it. The same fucking day. Mm-hmm. That Jungle Book's good. Oh, yeah. Jungle Book's where it's at. I have a question for you. What's that? It's random. Okay. If we... W- Ever were to stop being friends, right? Okay. Or stop podcasting? I would fight you in a heartbeat. What? What's the oh. reason? Why did we stop? Why did we stop? What do you What do you think the reason would be? Is why we stop being friends? Ooh, man, you hit me with a fucking showstopper. I know. Uh, it's a stopper of shows. If we were to ever stop being friends, what's the reason? Yeah. Honestly, honestly, I think the reason would be a disagreement about breakfast. What? (laughs) (laughs) A disagreement about breakfast. Yeah, what the best kind of breakfast is. I think it would be a disagreement over breakfast about what the best kind of breakfast is while we're eating breakfast. (laughs) Okay. That's not okay. so. So, start the argument now. What's the best kind of breakfast? What's the? Be- I mean, that's hard. That's let me, very let big go, question. Let me, no, no, it's not. Let me go first. Best kind of breakfast. I think I can already guess yours. The absolute. Best. I think I can get it. Let him guess it, and then tell us. Go for I it. I think you got. You're going with the everything hash browns, and your fucking raisin bread, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's fucking pretty much golden. I mean, I will say this: if you were to give me the ideal breakfast, if you if you said I'm gonna make you whatever the fuck you want, what do you want? I would literally say I want loaded everything hash browns, and I mean mushrooms, onions, peppers, fucking the whole works, cheese, fucking super cheese. Mm-hmm. Hash browns, and then I want like four over easy eggs, fucking laid right on top of the motherfuckers, so I can fucking so break, a skillet basically break the yolks and let them soak into the hash browns, and then I want my fucking cinnamon raisin bread, so I can fuck or toast, so I can fucking cut them up, then I can put it on the toast, and and that is the with a fucking big old cup of hot coffee, mm-hmm. best breakfast. That is the breakfast. That is my deal. That is my jam. That's my fucking soup and honey. That is what I'm getting down on. Soup and honey. Yep. Okay. What about you? I could get down with the loaded, the everything fucking hash browns, but I'm going to go with... Uh, and that's why we're best friends. I'm going to go with a loaded fucking omelet. Like the fucking... Uh, uh, the 0050. Like something like that. With just a bunch of meats and cheeses. Maybe throw some green peppers in there. Some onions. And I'm not going to go with the raisin bread. I'm going sourdough toast on the and, sides. And that's and that's why that's why we're going to always be friend best friends because I I can't knock you for that because that's a fucking great breakfast. It's a hearty breakfast. Yeah. Now if you come up here and you're like, oh, no. eggs Benedict over <laughs> scrambled toast, <laughs> I will I'd be, say, be like, fuck you. I will say I don't ever get it, but eggs Benedict are fucking good. I'm not saying it's bad, but. If if you're the kind of guy that's picking that's not gonna be Benedict. My, that's not gonna be my one bre- like if I had a last meal breakfast, it's not gonna be no fucking eggs and Benedict. That's, and that's what we're talking about here. If it was if it was your one ride or die go to breakfast, yeah. what is it? What I said. And if and if you were like, uh, oh, eggs Benedict over fucking waffle fries, I'd be like, You finger your own asshole and I hope <laughs> you rip a fucking fissure. <laughs> Jeez, okay. <laughs> Hope you rip off the shirt. That's a, that's a big word. Yeah. Spell it. It's, ooh, yeah. Spell fissure. Fissure? Yeah. 
You think I'm going to fuck it up? I do. F I S S E R E R U R. Is it no? It is. Is it you are? It might even be you are. Yeah, I have to think. I almost said you are. I think it's. Hold on. F I S S U R E. Is it you are? E. Fuck! I almost said you are. I would have still got it wrong, but I was close. Uh, <laughs> what would your breakfast be, Jeremy? Jeremy. Mine is a big old plate Careful of what you say biscuits and gravy. Not the not the like restaurant ones because those are always trash. They get feel like they get them out of a can, but like the homemade like homemade ground up sausage. He said, and it. then and then he said it <laughs> <laughs> with some sourdough toast on the side and sourdough a side the of best. yeah, absolutely, and then a side of farmland bacon. You got to have the good none of that microwave shit. Some thick ass, yeah, thick boys, thick cut, yeah. I. See, here's, here's why I can't do the whole uh, biscuits and gravy deal. So when I was in the Navy, you know, I, I wasn't on the ship a lot, but when I was on the ship, they'd do a lot of biscuits and gravy. And their their gravy is basically, it looks like milk with some, like, meat chunks in it. It was awful. It was not good. Yeah, so, no, like, you have to have, like, the, the actual, like, guess, ground yeah. sausage that, like, comes in the tube or, like, mm-hmm. from an actual, like, hog that you... Yeah. You got butchered, not the fucking little pre-made gross. sausage it cut was, up. Yeah, it's no, so that's liquidy too. Yeah. This is gross. You know what's funny? Dude, we were standing in line to go eat one time on the ship and they had this door open where they had like sacks and cans and stuff, whatever of food and all this shit. And we read on the bag once and it said not for human consumption. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. So when we were de- when we were deployed. Out in the desert on, uh, it was like every other Sunday, all the chiefs would get together Mm -hmm. and they would run the grills and they would cook steak and lobster for everybody while we were Mm -hmm. out in the desert. Well, surf and turf. Exactly. But same fucking thing. As you're getting your surf and turf, you can see all the boxes of frozen steaks and shit behind them that say grade D meat. Yeah. Prison <laughs> and military grade only. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm it's like, so we're eating the same steaks that the fucking prisoners are fucking it's, eating. It's so fucked up. I'm like, <laughs> well, I guess I'm getting lobster. I will say this, though. When I was in uh, Djibouti, went to Djibouti, and it's an Air Force. Your booty. It's an Air Force base. And literally, that is the best. Uh, we call it galley, but uh, what do you guys call it? Chow hall. Chow hall it is the best galley I've ever. Dude, they because it's Air Force, so you know they always get the best shit. It was like four yeah. fucking lines, and it's like they had like fried chicken and all this shit that was like really fucking good. You know, fucking Air Force twats. Yeah. Well, hey, <laughs> you know you gotta be smart to be in the Air Force. Yeah, you keep saying that, but you've definitely proved it. The last yeah. few weeks. <laughs> yeah. You you guys are the fucking dumb ones. You don't know. That's right. You don't Stop. Know. You're going to decourage me. Two plus, <laughs> two plus two, not knowing what it is. Two plus two, not knowing what it is, bitch. Long titty, no nipple, no having ass, no bitch. Ass. <laughs> right? Oh. Okay. So let me ask you this. If me and you were ever to not become friends anymore. Mm-hmm. What would the reason be? God, I didn't think you're going to turn it back on me. I turned it right back on you. It's pro- it would probably be something along the lines of, you try to suck me off and I say no, and then you just do it anyway. No, you would like that. Never tell you the story. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know this story. Never t- so I, I was in college once, right? In my my. <laughs> 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 Shut up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was in college and my roommate, he was he was gay. You know, it's like whatever. You know, you're gay. Well, one night I was sleeping and I woke up and he was sucking my dick. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? You finish up and then you get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I was waiting for like such a legit story. Like, no, especially how like Colby like started laughing. I was like, oh, this is a good one. This is a great one. The first time he said that to me, I was so intently focused on the story. I'm like, what? Really? No way. And then he hit me with the punchline. Like, you motherfucker. Can't take credit for that one. That's uh, I think it was actually Dane Cook's joke. If you remember Dane Cook, you ever listen to watch oh, his yeah, stand ups? Like middle school. Yeah. We yeah that was a long movies. time ago. Yeah. He was like Fuck. the best in middle school. Oh, and yeah. And like he just fell off. Yeah. I, I don't know what happened to him, to be honest. I like the movies he was in. Like, uh, good, um, what, what, good what? luck, Chuck. Yeah. That's not the one I was thinking of. The one where they're like, is it employee of the month, maybe? Or something uh, where he works at the grocery store. And you're shit. looking at the wrong guy for movies. With, yeah, you're I'm right. Terrible at movies. With Jessica Beale. No, Alba. F- fuck my life. Simpson. 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 Jessica Simpson. She's fucked. And uh, Dax Shepard. He's like, this is an '87 Honda. How dare you? You know what I'm talking about? No. I think that is employee of the month. I think it is. They work at a grocery store. If I had a bigger TV than a 52, I would probably know, but I don't. What the fuck does that make any sense? Because I watch my movies on little TVs. When these fucking movies came out, most of them that they bring up, like they didn't even have 65-inch TV. My parents had a 65-inch TV, and it was a giant box, and it weighed like 750 pounds. I had to move it upstairs twice because we had HBO boxing. uh, What what were those fuck pay-per-view fights? Pay-per-views, yeah. And we brought the fucking TV all the way up and took it out to the garage to, in my my parents' garage one time. And my dad had a bunch of his friends coming over. And it was like, God, I can't remember what the fight was. It was like Pacquiao Mayweather or some shit. I mean, that wasn't that long. That ago. wasn't that, that was long like, ago. I mean, it was probably eight years ago. Yeah. No, like nine years no, ago. No, this was like one of like the first Pacquiao Mayweathers. Because there was a couple, wasn't there? I think there was maybe two. But mm. I, this, I, there might have just dude, been the this, one. This there was, might have just been the one because I'm pretty sure this was like Mayweather was being Mayweather and like holding out, holding out until Pacquiao got older. This was like 2006, 2007 time frame. There was a really big HBO boxing event that happened. Uh, and my Floyd parents, Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, uh, May 2nd, 2015. Yeah, so it was way before that. Uh, so it might not have been a Pacquiao Mayweather, but we brought this fucking TV out to the shop or to the garage and it was an absolute cunt because this thing was fucking like, you remember the old school fucking big screens? Like the old school big screens with they like, like the underneath, wheels, it looked like a bunch pro- of speakers underneath. The projector, yeah. projector yeah. TVs. Yeah. yeah. The ones that weighed like fucking They're huge. 700 fucking pounds. Yeah. We carried that up the steps out to the fucking shop for a fucking a pay-per-view boxing match uh. and my dad had a bunch of friends over and it was a huge event and i remember the pay-per-view started in 15 seconds in the fucking main event the the one dude got knocked out and it was over yeah and i'm like we went through all that work to watch a bunch of prelim <laughs> bullshit dude those tvs i used to think they were so fucking bad at my mom watched food network so much on that TV that it burned the Food Network symbol <laughs> in the fucking corner of the TV. Really? Yeah, because it's a projector TV, yeah. so it fucking, yeah. The fucking, Dude. you go to a different channel and you'd see like a little hint of Food Network on the bottom right corner. <laughs> 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 like, fuck. Dude. You think that yeah. got some fucking old men in trouble back in the day? Like, <laughs> watching, TV. watching, like, HBO Ma- or Cinemax and stuff yeah, like right. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. You're not supposed to be watching that, Harold. <laughs> Why is the TV permanently on Cinemax? <laughs> it, oh, the, fuck. The kids, I don't know. They must be sneaking <laughs> Fucking out kids. Dude, that's funny because Ryan, brother, cousin. Was <laughs> listen to this story. <laughs> so like right after computers, so like computers have been out in like every home probably for like a couple of years, right? They came out, computers were brand new, the internet came out, people had computers, and then like the first couple of years were like everyone had a computer. Ryan had this fucking Dell desktop, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. And 
Probably Aunt, a gateway. Aunt Christy found out that somebody had been watching porn on the yeah. fucking computer. Yeah. And she fucking lost her shit on Ryan, Bryce, and Logan. And she was like, I'm literally grounding all three of you until one of you fesses up. And she grounded them. And it was like a week and a half. They were fucking just like grounded, hardcore, getting fucking trouble, chores, Mm -hmm. all sorts of bullshit. And Ryan stopped in the living room one day and goes, Mom, have you ever thought for a second that maybe it was dad? (laughs) <laughs> and Uncle Kevin was in the living room and he lost his fucking shit laughing. <laughs> they were grounded for like a fucking week and a half doing all sorts of bullshit. And it was Uncle Kevin the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's good. Dude, back in the day, me and like I'll my best friend now. Dial up internet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's all I had growing up was dial up internet. Yeah. And my buddy down the street, I was just his best man in his wedding. And I gave my best man speech talking about how back in the day I'd go down to his house because he had a high speed internet. Like I thanked his dad in the speech, like, thanks for the high speed internet. And he had bunk beds and (laughs) we would always go down there and we'd put up the fucking porn on that fucking, on that computer. (laughs) The fucking bunk bunk beds. And I was telling this whole story during, during the best man speech at his wedding and everybody's just like busting up laughing and I get done or whatever. And his grandma walks up to me and and she's like, I think, you know, you thanked Roger for that computer, but, uh, I'm the one that actually bought the computer for Jesse. Yeah. I'm like, well, hold on. Let me get the microphone and let everybody know that Grammy B is the one that uh, provided us the porn back in middle school. Oh, that's good, dude. Dude, there's times I walk into Corbin's room and he's got a fucking projector in his room. He hooks his laptop and shit up to it. And there's times I look at this projector and I'm like, That'd be fucking cool. Nah. Be yeah. cool. <laughs> I really want to try some V like a VR headset porn. I want to see what that shit's all about. Dude, have you seen those Reach fucking out, TikToks? Huh? Have you seen those TikToks where like wives walk in? I know that like most of them are staged, but like wife walks in, the husband's on the couch, like with the VR headset on. Dude, <laughs> no, I mean, so like, what, are you, what are you doing? Oh, it's uh P90X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, those were the days. That's when I learned about search history. Right. That's how I got in trouble. (laughs) Clear clear your browser. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? That is the time that we have for this episode. That is all. That is it. That's all. That's all. We're done. That is all. You guys. Man, your phone is blowing. It is. You want to know why it's blowing up? Let me ask you this. Do you have Nick Chubb on any of your fantasy teams? No. Fuck. Do you have Nick Chubb? What happened? Are you playing against Shit. them? Uh, Nick Chubb is done. ACL? Done. He's done. I don't know why, but he's done. He got carted off the field, and it's already saying career ending, or not career, but like season ending injury. You got him. He's done. So Fuck. I got him in two, maybe two of my three leagues. So me and, you are, me and you are in the same boat, Jeremy. Uh, we're fucked because... <laughs> I have Nick Chubb in two of my three leagues. So it's a damn shame for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> That's why my phone is going absolutely crazy because oh. Nick Chubb is fucked. Before we uh you heard it here fair, first. did she ever text you the hours? How many hours she spent on it? Uh she or did can she even get that? Okay, so let me just read what she sent. So she said, laugh out loud, let me take a look. <laughs> or this is what I said. Does Candy Crush tell you how many hours you have spent playing? If it does, text me. It's for the podcast. She said, laugh out loud. Let me look. And then she said, it doesn't. Motherfuck. So. I bet I was right, though. (laughs) I'll let you be right. Thanks. I'll let you be right on that one. Uh, Yeah. So with that, hey, guys. If you're in the need for a new hat, you know where you should look? I do. Rusty Lids. Go check out Rusty Lids. They have amazing deals, amazing fucking hats, amazing options. You can, they got an option for everybody. 
But they got an option for everybody. You might, you might not like every option they got, but they got an option for you. I guarantee it. Men's hats, women's hats, children's hats. <laughs> no children's no hats. No children's hats. But head over and check out Rusty Lids. They are a fantastic company ran by fantastic people, and they have fantastic hats. Yep. I promise you the next hat you buy from Rusty Lids will be your favorite hat. Go check them out. Use promo code L-O-V-E-U. Letter U. Letter U. And then uh, you'll get yourself a discount, and you'll feel even better about spending the money on a new hat. Yeah. Go check them out. But until then. We love you guys. We fucking love you guys. Love you guys. Absolutely. But fuck you. F no, fuck you. No, no. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Jeremy, fuck you. Fuck you, you didn't Jeremy. do it. No, fuck you both. You didn't do it. I want you to do it. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck, fuck both of you. Fuck off. Fuck off. Whatever. Okay, okay love, love you. Bye. I'm chasing their butt cheeks. Up and down the corn All these girls have cowboy boots And wear their Wrangler And fuck me in the butthole Take two Up and down the corn All these girls have cowboy boots And carry around their pitchforks Chasing their butt cheeks Up and down the corn All these girls have real nice butts And wear those Wrangler jean shorts <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dude uh, Pull chocks Pull chocks Thank you.